So those scholars who were defining or those scholars who were involved in understanding the concept of communication and its role in modern day organization or corporate sector, they had certain idea and they have certain thought process. So let us understand few of them. Newman in summer, one of the greatest exponent of communication, he has defined communication in a very simple terminology that communication is nothing but it is an exchange of facts, ideas, emotions, opinion by two or more persons or individuals. Likewise, behind Brown was another scholar who said communication is the transmission and interchange of facts, ideas, feeling and course of action. Likewise, Cumin. Cumin said the word communication describes the process of conveying messages, facts, idea, attitude and opinion from one person to another and so that they can understand each other. And likewise, Magginson is another scholar who said communication is the process of transmitting, meaning ideas, understanding of a person or a group to another person or a group. So in nutshell, communication, I have already defined you what communication is. And if you go into the analogy or the history of this word communication, then commun commun communion was an event which was observed by the followers of the Jesus Christ it means the group exchange ideas or it is a commencement to the God. So the meaning can be different for different people but the fact remains the same that communication in modern day which a scholar you read on or which books you refer to at the end of the day you and I need to communicate and you and I need to understand each other. So from that perspective, think of a situation. Normally people will say that we exchange those ideas into one language or by using one language we can understand each other. When we shall read barriers of communication or some another aspect of communication, then we shall delve into detail about those ideas. But currently what we need to focus on, focus upon is, can we safely say? Communication can happen between two individuals when they have got same script, same language, same sound system, similar meaning of the word and use of same alphabets. Otherwise, the girl from China will not, never be able to propose her idea to a boyfriend in Delhi or some Hindi heartland or some local area in Tamil Nadu. So if you wish to communicate your feeling and emotion, then you need to have one language. Am I right? Though. Later on, we shall understand even language is not the guarantee that your idea will be exchanged properly because even the language, the level of language differs from person to person and the use of word, vocabulary and sentence structure might differ from person to person so their understanding might face some difficulties. Those areas we shall read into barriers of communication. But currently what we need to know is to exchange idea, you need to understand the similar sound system, you need to understand or use the common language, you need to have common script, you need to have common sound system, we need to have proper understanding of the meaning of that word. Think of a situation, suppose if you look at this, most of you will say pain, this is a pain or somebody will say ye kalam hai sir. But think of a situation, those who had actually created it, it would have given different acronym or name to this particular thing. Then what would, would have we said? And in another language, there can be some different vocabulary or words for this. The simple pain is there. So the users means the two person who are exchanging those ideas or those who wish to communicate, both of them need to understand the similar meaning of this pain. Only then can we communicate it. So can we safely say they use a common sinus system? Sinus system, when I say, it can be pictorial sinus system, it can be sound sinus system, it can be electronic sinus system, it can be script, it can be alphabets, but 
two users have similar alphabets. And if we wish to communicate to a person from other language, then we need to understand their language too. So we need to learn extra language to communicate where we, our mind shall function as a translator from the original language that we normally speak to the language that others can understand. In modern day, corporate sector might give you options to have if you are a talented person and if you are indispensable for the organization, then your corporate sector might provide a translator or a person who knows other languages. So wherever you are being deployed, there you shall seek assistance of those person who will communicate on your behalf. This is what you would have noticed when PM Modi or some another leaders who visit or who pay visit to other country, they always have the person who will speak on his behalf. So that is there. So communication can be through a, an intermediary also. But for direct communication, you have no choice but to learn others language and you should understand how these words actually are spoken. And sometimes you can seek assistance of your guesters to communicate also. Like you and I are communicating. Currently, I'm not in front of you. Still, my sound and my visuals will communicate you what I wish to communicate you. So, it does not necessarily mean that when communication is happening, the individuals are right in front of each other. So, communication can happen at a distance also. Likewise, I am communicating from the confine of my home and it is being communicated to you wherever you are. So you can be right now when you are watching this video, you can be at your home and you can be in a market or you can be at some other places and you might be munching or you might be enjoying your company with others and simultaneously you would have been listening. So communication is happening there. So in modern day, when you are working in an organization, you might use various tools to communicate. It may be video tools, it may be through internet, it may be through Facebook, it may be through WhatsApp. So those other tools we shall understand later on. So currently in this chapter, when I sum up this lecture, we had primarily focused on what communication is all about, how it actually happens and what are the prerequisites of communications to happen. And we have also tried to understand that more than two individuals are required if we wish to exchange idea. Just I put a blipper over here. Can we think of a world without communication? Can we think of a world where communication is not happening? It can happen within your home. It can happen at your workplace. So a world without communication is like living in an empty room. So, dear friends, if we are a social being, if we have to live in this society, in this world, then communication lays the trust or lays the foundation for our existence. So, better we communicate, when we shall be dealing with effective communication, better we communicate, better we can lead the world, better we can leave our impression to the world. So, thank you with this. For watching video infotainment we shall be interacting with you with several other aspects of communication in future and very soon too and those aspects we expect you to watch listen it and give your feedback don't miss to give your feedback your feedback will help me to improve and change the way I communicate to you today. Thanks a lot for watching video infotainment and don't forget to share it with your friends also. Thank you.